diphtheria it's a bacterial disease like any other bacterial disease it's a disease but it is highly contagious means it is spread very fast from one person to another and this is a very highly uh, deadly uh, bacteria which can cause a disease which can lend up to even death or some of the great complications and it is usually seen in less than 16 years of age so the newborn or the pediatric age group is usually the most affected population from this diphtheria diphtheria mainly affects the tonsils or the throat part and the other uh, infection which diphtheria causes is the nasal uh, virus which affect the nose part and the voice box part larynx part and apart from these they also cause skin infection so if this diphtheria is affecting the throat part this throat is this part and the tonsils part if they are affecting this part there will be swelling a low grade fever means it it will not go up to more than 1 not 2 it will be a low grade fever with generalized body ache uh, body ache lethargy weakness and apart from that there will be swelling around this tonsillar part which will result in a edema or a water collection around the neck part and this neck will become broad and in medical terms we tell this as the bull's neck like it will be a broader neck like a bull's neck and there are sometimes formation of membrane around the tonsil and if we try to remove this uh, membrane it will end up in bleeding nasal part which we, i was saying it will uh, be uh, causing a watery discharge which will later turn to a thick no uh, thick nosy part which will be sero sanguinous or we in medical terms we tell it as mucopurulent like a pus i can say the nosies will be very thick and the cutaneous symptoms or the skin manifestation which this bacteria cause it will land up in a non healing ulcer means there will be a ulcer or breakage in the skin which will not get healed and there will be formation of a membrane over that skin so these are the various uh, symptoms which this disease cause diphtheria is not any common diseases for this disease we have to go for a culture test and culture means the bacteria will be grown on a medium the bacteria which is collected from your throat or nose and the skin they will be grown to a culture medium in the lab for around 2 to 3 days and then you will get the bacteria is growing on that medium apart from that there are radio immuno assay and pcr technique which will uh, detect the bacteria in a shorter period of time if there is a diagnosed case of diphtheria or the clinical symptoms are suggesting of diphtheria we can go uh, with the antitoxin there are specific diphtherial antitoxins which we can take and there are also antibiotics which we we have to take for around 14 days if a person is detected with a diphtherial infection diphtheria if left untreated it can lead to serious manifestation of other organs of the body like i have already th uh, told throat nose and skin to are already affected by this uh, bacteria but if it spreads it can lead to uh, cardiomyopathy like the heart disease it can lead to a cardiac failure or heart failure or heart attack or av conduction delay which uh, in layman's term i tell us uh, heart attack only so it can cause heart diseases it can cause neural tissue damage means neuropathies it will lead to a damage to the nerves and this damage to the nerves will cause a voice to change or nerve paralysis diphtheria can be prevented by just staying away from a person who is diagnosed with diphtheria as i have already told it is spread by close contact so just maintain a distance with that person if you find any person who is having diphtheria just notify it to the health authorities if they uh, know that there is a case of diphtheria they will bring all the protective measures to protect diphtheria spread from one person to another apart from that any close contact should take a antibiotic prophylaxis means he should also start taking the antibiotic if he has came in contact with a uh, case of diphtheria and the last and the best part is the vaccination we already have diphtheria as about in our vaccination schedule at 6 weeks 10 weeks 14 weeks of age then at 1 and 1/2 years and 5 years we already give vaccines to the newborns or the babies just take that vaccine properly and you will be safeguarded from this deadly bacterial disease